gonna be a real smooth week. A lot of real smooth grooves. I'm gonna throw together a Yacht Rock song, or at least a Yacht adjacent song. What we have this week is we have some particularly smooth tools to use. You may notice the most Yacht Rock guitar of all time. It is a Ibanez semi-hollow model something something art something whatever. But the most important thing is it has this map, or I like to think is a nautical map. A map to help you sail the smooth seas of Yacht Rock. We have a very exciting set of drum samples. You may be familiar with uh, Steely Dan, and you may have heard about the reemergence of a much better tape of their lost song, The Second Arrangement. And this was discovered and released by uh, Roger Nichols' daughters. In addition to releasing the tape of The Second Arrangement, uh, the studio they teamed with released a new sample set of the original Wendell. I already have a Wendell Jr. sample set by Samples from Mars. It was the successor to the Wendell and a, an actual commercial unit. I, guess, I don't think the Wendell was ever actually for sale. I think it was Roger Nichols built it and then used it, and it looks like a computer. It doesn't even, like, the Wendell Jr., I think, was a rack unit. The first ever sample-based drum machine, and it's fantastic. And you may have heard it on Gaucho or Donald Fagan's solo album, The Nightfly. They included the Wendell Jr. in here, too, just to be ridiculous, but the set of samples from the original Wendell so we got a whole slew here of kicks. Just, they, and they all sound great in some way or another. Like there's really a lot you could do, a lot of, you could do a lot of modern stuff with this, as well as obviously classic Yacht Rock kind of style stuff. A whole lot of snares. I couldn't, I couldn't pick a single snare. I threw three snares in this kit. On top of that, and I, I do not know how to use these yet, the Wendell preset snares. I believe what this means is that these are the snares that are actually sampled at different velocities. And so if I can set these up properly in Ableton, you can use them more like a modern drum sample plugin that different velocities will trigger an actual different hit. Only one for this one snare? That's amazing. Even the static snares sound fantastic. Three hats, and then a similar preset hat, different velocities. And then the toms, got the uh, 8, 10, 12, 13, 16. And then a crazy amount of percussion, uh, some of which you may have heard on the Nightfly or Gaucho. The really nice cowbell. Like, most of the time I don't like cowbells, but they have really Really nice sounding cowbells in here. Uh, the one guaranteed way to make something sound like Yacht Rock is to use a Purdy Shuffle. And the Purdy Shuffle, the first one up here is kinda, kind of a Purdy Shuffle. Uh, so the Purdy Shuffle, I can't explain it better than Bernard Purdy himself. There is a fantastic video from 1990 he goes through it. The way that he plays a shuffle, and it involves a certain amount of polyrhythms and syncopation, and you start with like a 12-8 or a 12-4, and then he adds like, and that already gives you sort of like four beats of triplets, and then he adds like triplets within the triplets, and then he also can play the straight eighth notes, quarter notes, sixteenth notes, and he mixes it all together and makes it sound amazing. I don't know if he really explains any better than that how to like do it right. Every time I've repeatedly done this, I will go watch the video and then I will try to create a beat that has that vibe and I'll get something. But like later in the video, he starts to play him and it's nowhere, it's nowhere close. Uh, this is Bernard Pretty Purdy. And in this video, he explains for Drummer World. He explains the Purdy Shuffle, and it goes into extreme detail, and he plays some crazy beats. And it's much harder for me, a non-drummer who uh, isn't even very good at finger drumming. I mostly program them, and I know what I'm looking for enough to usually program the thing I'm looking for. I threw a few beats together. We're going to play around with them. What we're going to try to do 
We're going to try to use the Wendell drums, my yachtiest of yacht rock guitars. Uh, I've made a few patches in the Axe Effects using a Fender Twin reverb, uh, a Dumble, a clean Dumble patch, and a distorted lead Dumble patch. Uh, I did use the Dynacabs on a couple of these. There is a Dumble uh, Dynacab 4x12 in there. To take it a step further, we have here in the contact player what is known as the famous E electric piano. Uh, a sample set overseen by Jay Graydon, who is himself a very uh, famous and accomplished uh, musician, producer, guitar player, another great dude in Yacht Rock. And uh, this is a particular Rhodes electric piano you can see it's a Mark I, but it's a specific one that was rented out in LA and it was rented for a lot of sessions. And the E isn't from Electric Piano. It's confusing because it's an EP, but it's the E. It's the famous E EP. It was just that was the letter on it of all the Rhodes Mark I's that that uh, equipment rental place had. It was the one marked E. You heard it on a lot of hits is the point, much like you've heard the Wendell on Gaucho and the Nightfly. I just crapped this out uh, before I went live so that there would be something playing. And unfortunately, all the best ideas seem to come when I'm not trying. And I'm just like, let's analyze what I'm doing here. So B minor seven, F sharp minor seven, G major seven, A, A minor seven with a ninth. I just slide it up to B and then C major seven. That's one I keep forgetting. Oh, that's what, because, because of course, because C major seven should not be in that key. That's why it modulates to be like C sharp in B minor. But guess what? And it it sounds like it works. I don't I don't know why. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get that deep into it right now. But it uh, C major seven, and then I went D C major seven with a sixth. Uh, A thirteen to like. Go back to B minor? Why not? Maybe it does that. Let's see if we can recreate it on the EP. A C major that should not be. And then this. That's the most pretty shuffled beat. But I wanted, I didn't actually want it to be that slow. Yeah, because this one has all the triplets. It's got, this has the 12 8 heel. I mean, I'm, it's, it's in 4 4, but I basically programmed it like 12 8. See if I can keep up with the modulation on the guitar this time.
if I can mix that with the faster part, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it anyway. second half of that might be what we want. What about the first half of that? What if I wanted to see if they go together, if I can copy that second half and first half. This one should have some modulation on it. So we're going to put modulator. Flanger, that's what I want. Try to change the voicing slightly from the other, other part. Fake key, not even keyboard. I was gonna use the actual keyboard for the in honor of the EP, but I'm not even doing that because I realized I'm better at playing it on the Ableton controller because the layout of notes is more like a guitar. used the syncopation get to the chords in time if not on the downbeat because you're not supposed to play on the downbeat so that was let's just pretend it was on purpose like i don't like to tweak them too much because like you lose or if you quantize it like sure it'll all be on the beat but you lose the feel and there's it's always a little bit of a like a lot of this you can see is just a little ahead of the beat Question is, how do I get from that to So I feel like there's, we just need a third part in between those. Uh, maybe, maybe I like both of them. I don't want either. Like I could totally just have this be like the the outro or section, but I don't. I like both parts too much, and so I wanna have the song build maybe, maybe A B A the slow one, and then end up in that faster one for like the last maybe third of the song. I don't know. Let me see if any of the other stuff I have is usable. Always will come up with something new to try to bridge the gap.
Okay, okay. So I think I figured it out. This is the, this will be the verse. These parts need to get simpler. Tar 2 is gone. Alright, I want to play through it once and record my bullshit guitar playing. And then I can take chunks of it and act like they were supposed to just tastefully be over that one bar, even though I played over it the whole song, the whole damn song. Shit, that song that was good. As always, the, the left guitar works, the right guitar doesn't.
Well, I gotta say, we did it. We made a whole Yacht Rock song with the Wendell drum samples, the famous E electric piano, the yachtiest guitar ever made, and uh, maybe we'll add some melodica or fake saxophones on it. But I think we, we worked it out. I got these two parts. I didn't know if they were going to fit together, but I think it works. So, uh, so thanks for hanging out. And thanks for your comments. I am the one you met. Uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'm turning it off now.